In this presentation, we're going to learn how to edit our table of contents and our slides inside of Panopto. We'll begin by navigating to our PowerPoint presentation in Panopto and selecting Edit. When we select Edit, we'll be redirected into the Panopto editing window. Here we'll notice under Contents that we have a name, which we can rename. I chose to call this Introduction to Editing During a Pandemic. But this could just as easily be Welcome to Panopto. Below that, we'll see that our first timestamp actually has no title. That's because there was no slide available initially. Um, if I'd like, I can add this as a start time and just call it intro. If I'd like to change the time of any one of these titles or the title of the slide itself, what I can do here is navigate to the title and watch what happens when I select basic PowerPoint. What will happen is my timeline will advance to the location of where those slides happen. So we'll do that. You'll notice that my timeline in red here has advanced and the video and the PowerPoint are brought up. And I can do that for any of these by just selecting on the timeline. I can change the titles if I'd like. I actually am going to leave these alone. If I wanted to add an additional table of contents or timeline selection, all I do is come into my editor, and when I get to the location that I'd like to add to, I will move my timeline to where I want it, and then I can add in new title and select enter. You'll notice that that timestamps this at 52 seconds. If I want to delete that, I just select next to the timestamp and select delete. In addition to this, we can also do something similar with our slides. I'll go ahead and navigate down to slides. When I select this, you'll notice that my PowerPoint slide deck is also timestamped. This is also seen in our timeline editor at the bottom signified by SL for the slides. I can select next to any slides timestamp and I'll get three dots. On any of these, and we'll select this one, I have the option once again to edit or delete. If I choose edit, I'll be brought to a new window where I can essentially edit the title and I can also edit the time where this slide begins or ends. I'll get a preview of the image that's connected to this, and I'll have the ability to search for various words. It's also possible to link a URL to this. We're not going to worry about that at this point. Once I'm done with this, I can select Save. These are the basic concepts that you'll need to know to edit your table of contents and your slides in Panopto. We'll look more at how to actually edit the content and the video in our next video on editing. For more information, please visit us at the Faculty Center for the Advancement of Teaching and Learning.